Hello gorgeous, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to embrace spring with you. We are going to put together a fun spring look using some of my favorite products. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. If you uh, have been around, I thank you for taking the time to join me today. If you are not yet subscribed, I would so love it if you subscribed. And we are going to put together this lovely peachy spring inspired eye. So be right back. And we're back. So I'm going to prime with the Milani eyeshadow primer. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I have a love affair with Viseart shadows. And this little palette right here is what started my love affair. And it is the Viseart Apricotine palette. And it's just adorable. You can find this on Viseart's website or uh, I believe Sephora sells it. But these are the shades. You do get a little mirror in there, but they are just the perfect spring shades. We are going to go in with a fluffy blending brush. And this one is from Luxie. We are going to jump in with this shade right here. I'm going to use this mid-toned brown as our transition. We're going to use that same shade and go under the eye with the smaller fluffy blending brush. This one is ES6 from Profusion. Same shade. This is basically the framework for the eyes and then you can start getting creative. So what I'm going to do is take this peach shade right here and go a little bit more precise into the crease with a smaller style blending brush. I know it looks dirty, but it's just stained. Now I'm calling myself crazy. I highly recommend these little color switch products. I will link one below. Let's go into that peach shade right there. Next, we are going to go in with this brighter peachy shade right there, and we're going to go all over the lid with our finger. Busy Art Shadows are just so easy to work with. Just to add a little pop of interest, we're going to take this little champagne here and put it in the inner corner. Just to neaten that up, what we'll do is go in with that original blending brush and we will just blend those edges. Let's go in with that small blending brush that is clean and we're going to use some of this peach. Now if you wanted to make this a little smokier, a little deeper of an eye look, they have a lovely darker brown right there which I think I am going to just add a little. just one of my favorite brushes, this ES6 from Profusion. I need to order some more of them because I use it over and over again. Comment below if you have a thousand brushes and use the same four over and over again. Just 
just to make it match, let's go underneath a little. Next, we are going to add a little liner. And I am going to, because we are going for a softer look today, I'm gonna to go in with a brown liner. This is from Rimmel. It's the Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer in Rich Brown. And I'm gonna use this on the waterline, the outer edge of the eye, and the lower edge of the eye. I'm not gonna do the bottom waterline today because we're bright and fresh and springy. smudging so that it's softer on the bottom there. Similar to the E26 that I love so much, this is a Luxie and this is another small. This one's just a little bit firmer so I like to use this one when I'm using eyeshadow as a liner. Silly that I am, this eyeliner has a smudger on it. I'm going to jump in with this Tristique mascara that I got from BoxyCharm in my March box. It's a great mascara. We will go back in for the bottom lashes after we do the rest of our base. So uh, I did get a little bit of mascara over here. The, the secret is to let it dry and then go back in with a clean spoolie from your brow pencil and then you can just brush it off. So now we are going to go in with our primer. I am going to use the e.l.f matte putty primer today. Basically focusing it on the T-zone because that's where I have the most pores. It's where I want the most oil control excess on the outside but focused focus more on the center. Let's go in with the base and I'm going to use the pure four-in-one tinted moisturizer. And this is in the shade MN3. It's got uh, sunscreen in it. We need to protect that skin and the, this shouldn't be your only sunscreen, but it's nice to have makeup with sunscreen in it. Very light coverage. Just using my fingers. got a bit of a glow to it. So what I'll do is any extra coverage areas that I have, I will use my concealer to cover. So we're going in with the Tarte Shape Tape. We're going to give this a minute to set on the skin before we blend to get the ultimate coverage. So what I'm going to do next is put a little eyebrow gel in. This is from Believe Beauty, which is from the Dollar General. Not my favorite, but it gets the job done. I need to pick up more of my Benefit 24-hour brow setter. I have the uh, Gimme Brow in my drawer. I need to open that as well because that could work out well. But I like the brow gel to set in the eyebrows so that when I go to put my brow pencil in, I already have the shape. Then this brush that I'm using for my concealer is the All Over Shadow from IT Cosmetics, picked up from Ulta. We're just going to stipple and sweep 
on those areas. I still have you zoomed in. <gasps> we can go back out a little bit for this one. Hold on. That's better. A cat crying at the door if you hear something. She steals all my beauty sponges. She's not allowed in here. This will be gone. <laughs> Speaking of this, I'm going to use this to blend a little bit more. This is the Elf Camo sponge that I do use dry to blend in concealer from time to time. Okay, now we can go in with powder. I'm gonna jump in with the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder, one of my favorites. Tell me if you are ready for Sephora's VIB sale and what goodies you plan on picking up. I've got my loves list ready. Let me know if you'd like me to do a video on that. I will be taking advantage of that percentage off. I can't help myself when this powder goes in my mouth and it straight up tastes like peaches. It's just lovely. <laughs> now we are going to set a little bit of the under eyes with this number seven uh, triple action finishing powder. It's the Lift and Luminate. And I prefer that under the eyes because it's a little bit lighter. Light as possible under there. Okay, for bronzer, we are going in with the Essence Matte Bronzing Powder Palette. Love it. We've got four different shade options there. I think I'm going to start with uh, this shade right here, and then I might add this one. great palette like just different nice shades of neutral brown for all different skin tones which is nice so I have a 14 year old son who told me that uh, he's gonna do my makeup for YouTube so tell me are you interested you want to see my 14 year old do my makeup and there's the cat trying to get in <laughs> he says I'll do your makeup on YouTube mom he says oh okay that ought to be interesting He's seen me do it enough. Just adding some of the e.l.f. This is the highlighter. We're gonna use that for highlight and blush today. Going in with another Luxie brush that I picked up from BoxyCharm, their add-ons. Okay, next we are going to fix under those eyes a little bit because I think I lost a little bit of the color putting on the concealer and powders. There, we just added a little bit of that color back in. I think I will go back in with Bottom Lash Mascara. Done. Let's jump into the eyebrows. This is the Real Her Eyebrow Pencil. Okay, we are going in with the Believe Beauty Brow Gel just to set. Let's jump in with a little lip liner. This is the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in Sugar and Spice. Love this.
Let's make sure we check for that mascara. Get that off, which we've done now. Okay, so now for lipstick, we're gonna go in with an oldie but goodie. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I believe it's Berlin. It's just a lovely brown. I'm gonna go in very light-handed with this because we're gonna we don't want it to be too dark, and we're gonna go in with the gloss. So while we're letting that set, I'm going to jump in with my little Ardell Magnetic Accents. I like it more on the edges, keeps it more soft. Okay, so now Let's throw on a little bit of this new gloss that I just picked up from Jeffree Star. It's very interesting. Uh, the packaging is Lux Heavy. It's called Beaded Glass. So, gonna finish off with some setting spray. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. what you think of the finished spring makeup look do you like it should we get fancy should we let the hair down should we <laughs> so this is what we've got this is the spring look I really hope that you enjoyed yourself I hope you learned some stuff I hope you found some products that you might be interested in uh, I or you have something similar in your makeup stash that you could grab and uh, get an inspired look from this one uh, if you have not subscribed please subscribe also comment below if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one have a great day